Paul's favorite dish is pork schnitzel. He even eats an egg and bread with cold meat every day for breakfast. He prefers to drink his coffee with milk. What Paul doesn't yet know, because of this, his intake of soy is very high. When he traveled to South America to do work experience, instead of seeing tropical rainforests and woodland savannas, he only saw fields of soy stretching as far as the horizon. He got to know Maria in a cafe, and she told him that large-scale farmers and investors are cultivating more and more soy in huge fields. That's why smallholders often lose their arable land and have to cultivate their fields surrounded by large soy fields. Natural vegetation is being turned into huge monocultures. Pesticides put a strain on the environment and the water. Ever more forests and woodland savannas are being cleared to create more farmland. This is bad for the climate because tropical rainforests and woodland savannas store a lot of CO2. Paul also now knows why the demand for soy is so great and why it keeps on growing. An increasing number of people are eating meat and other animal-based products, and the vast majority of soy is found in animal feed. This also applies to livestock from Germany, of course. After all, soy is a well-tolerated protein carrier. That's why experts predict that soy production will double by the year 2050. Paul believes that something has to change. But on the packaging for his schnitzel, he cannot see whether the soy used as animal feed was produced sustainably. 2 to 3% of soy worldwide is certified according to recognized sustainability standards. Paul will pay attention to these sustainability standards in the future, but even more needs to happen. Producers, companies and consumers all need to get behind sustainable production and act jointly. It's the only way to protect the environment and human rights in the long term. Paul now eats a little less meat and pays attention to its origin. In doing so, he follows the current recommendations of nutrition experts and influences soy production, at least on a small scale. You can find more information about sustainable agriculture worldwide and more sustainability in global supply chains at www.bmz.de.